Um, it shows that it's effective. I think uh, ustekinumab is very effective in colitis, in Crohn's colitis, in ulcerative colitis. They found that people really, even at eight weeks, there, were, there was evidence of response, which is a you know, very kind of gratifying thing to see, right? Um, and that it works long term. Um, they also, I think, importantly set, um, possibly are setting another standard, which is that they have um, shown us that, they, that even though it's a small percentage of patients, that patients on used to Kinemab not only achieved endoscopic healing, but also histologic healing, so really both, that it didn't, not, it not only looked like the mucosa not only looked good, but even, even under the microscope was, was healed. So that's gonna set a very high bar, admittedly in, in a small percentage of patients. But I suspect that in real practice, when we tweak dosing, when we wait longer, that we'll have a higher proportion of patients respond. Um, moreover, I think you know, all, of, all of our modern day biologic studies are plagued by the fact that these are patients, by the time they get into clinical trials, have had the disease for a long time and have been on other medications. And so um, I, I wanna say maybe 20% or a little less than 20% of patients had been both on anti-TNFs previously as well as vetalizumab. So already these are patients that are the most refractory, right? They've been on more than one mechanism of action before they got into the UNIFI studies. There, um, I wanna say maybe 50% of the patients were on previous anti-TNF therapy. So these are people who have been previously biologic exposed and that group doesn't seem to do as well on anything. They still do better than placebo when they get the drug, but they overall, the overall rate of response is lower than it is for people who are naive to therapy. So I think that ustekinumab is a very safe drug. Um, that's again shown in this particular study that it was very safe. With respect to ustekinumab being the first line of therapy, I, I think it's very safe. I think that um, I would uh, use it as first line if I, if I, if I could. Um, my hope is that the fact that it's already been around for Crohn's disease, the fact that it's around for psoriasis, makes it um, available for, to more people and maybe it'll bring that cost down so that we could use it as, as a first line therapy. And when I say first line, I, I should say first line biologic therapy. Um, obviously we're, you know, in the, in the space of ulcerative colitis, mesalamines can, can be very effective, you know, so we should use those as first line. But I think ustekinumab is very effective. Earlier at this meeting, uh, a, a, a physician came to ask me about a patient who's got a cancer who's being treated with chemotherapy for another cancer, but has very active Crohn's disease. And I think, for example, that ustekinumab is safe in that setting. So um, I, I, I do use it. I think it's safe even in older people. And that's a big deal because we're seeing that our patient population is getting older. And, and uh, interestingly, still has quite active disease. I feel like one of the things that's changing in terms of the natural history is we're now seeing older people who have had Crohn's or ulcerative colitis for a long time and yet the disease is not going into remission just by, because of age.